Okay, this is how to play I Want You, She's So Heavy by The Beatles off of Abbey Road. Um, somebody commented for me to do this, so I thought might as well. Um, there's other guys on YouTube, but um, I guess I'll show it more in depth and, and try to give a better understanding of the song. Um, I think it's a good one to learn early on because it familiarizes yourself with uh, different chords and chord progressions and then also the fretboard once you get to like the solo kind of part. Um, anyway, I'm not going to know all the chord names, but... It all bases off of that D minor chord. So what you want to do is put your pointer on the first fret, pinky on the third fret of the second string, and then your middle on the second fret of the third string. So you get this chord. Okay, and what you want to do is kind of like an arpeggio thing, uh, starting at the fourth string. So you go. that middle finger you want to hit put that on the uh, third fret fourth string and then when you get to that third string again you want to do a pull off on the middle finger so it goes um, So the reason you do that pull off is because you want to put your middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string and then take that ring finger off. And then what you want to do with your pointer finger is bar across the uh, first fret of all th the fourth strings, all four strings. And then you get this uh, pregio sound. So it starts from here. Once you get to that last note, instead of going back up with the arpeggio, you want to do a walk down on the fifth string. So you go three, two, okay. So right now, once you get to the, after that walk down, you're still barring on your first finger, uh, the first fret of all the strings, and your pinky is still on that third fret of the second string. And then you want to do that arpeggio again. Okay. And you want to take that bar off. You want to hit that open fifth string. And then the arpeggio, what you want to do now is put your pointer on the first fret, first string. You want to put your uh, middle and ring on the second fret of the second and third string. So you start the arpeggio at the fifth and you go three, two, one, two, three. <laughs> So that last part is. Okay. So I'll go ahead and try to show both my picking hand and my uh, chord hand. Okay, so that's the intro, and the intro is basically the whole entire song. Um, after you do this last arpeggio at this uh, last chord I showed you. You just want to basically start over. Okay, 
Um, playing it fast, you know, is pretty tricky, especially if you're barely learning it uh, right now, especially um, from getting for here back to that D minor chord. It does take a lot of muscle memory and practice to do it all, you know, in a timely manner to where it sounds like the actual song. Um, so I'd recommend, you know, doing the whole thing over and over and over and over again until you feel confident enough that you can get that part, you know, down. Um, that part really doesn't change throughout the whole entire song. What changes, though, is um, when he starts the lyrics and he says, I want you, he does a solo kind of thing. And it's kind of just like a regular solo kind of thing, a progression pattern, whatever. So you want to start off at this shape here. So you're, you're going to put your pointer on the fifth of the third and then your middle on the fifth of the third. Sorry, the seventh of the fourth. So you want to hit that seventh. And then you want to move your middle finger, I mean your ring finger down to that seventh of the third. And you want to bend up. So let me get a little bit closer. And in between little phrases at this solo part, he kind of just does a regular um, power chord thing here. So that's just on the sixth and fifth string. Um, so what you want to do is put your pointer on the fifth fret, sixth string, and then seventh fret, fifth string with your ring. Okay, so. Now when he says, I want you so bad, you kind of do the same thing. Bad to the fifth. So what he does is, I want you. many things there you can either do a bend up and, and then um, you just take everything off or you can do a, a kind of like a pull off from the this would be the eighth fret to the seventh to the fifth it's up to you he, he probably changes it throughout the whole entire song anyway so um, I guess it doesn't really matter which way you do it so it goes along with the lyrics I want you. Same thing. So when you do that bend up, you kind of want to go rock it up and down, up and down. Throughout the song, he, he also um, does that bend on the second string. So with your ring and your pinky finger, you kind of hit that double stop and then do that rock up and down. So that part's a little bit tricky. So, so it goes, I want you so bad. Okay. So it's not really super hard to learn. It's just going back and forth. Um, now what you want to do is basically do the same exact pattern, but up onto the ninth and the 12th frets, same strings.
Now instead of the driving me mad part, it's just to walk up um, from the 9th, 10th, I mean, sorry, 10, 11, 12th fret. You can either do the double stop on the 5th and 6th string, or you can just do it only on the 5th string. Whichever way you want to do it. And then, um, after that part, there's kind of like a weird organ kind of part. You, you can't really tell. I think um, the organ comes in later. Um, and it's also the bass too. But what it is, it's an open six string. And then you make this chord shape. So you wanna do first fret of the first and second string. I'm sorry, first and third string. And then the second string with your pinky, you wanna play it at the third fret. Six string. go back to the so on and so forth um that solo part you know isn't really super hard but if you do have trouble with it i recommend you know finding the tabs for it i don't have the tabs for it myself but it's super simple once you get a hang of it um i guess i'll go ahead and do a slower close-up version <laughs> So that's the whole song. Hopefully it was, you know, good enough for you to understand. And uh, yeah, that's it. Goodbye.